pristine darkness in every direction. Silence, but for the gentle, rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. Enver Gortash, chosen of Bane, command you. It's close. Have the stones ready. so large. You think you know why you are here? You think that by enslaving me with the nether stones, you will bring your father's scourge upon the world? You are wrong.
messing with your mind. Don't listen to it. Use the stones. The crown is how we controlled you!
out just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain. No longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. I thought so, too, but that was when I believed it was still an Elder Brain. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. Something's on the line. I have assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an anithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. I will consume his thoughts, his knowledge, his brain. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. 
I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Nether Stones to me. It is true that I withheld reality. I showed Orpheus and his guards as evil beings. And I appeared to you in the form of someone you would trust. Someone who wasn't a Mind Flayer. But I am a Mind Flayer. Illusion is my language. Just as words and actions are yours. Do not judge me for being true to myself. I have never judged you. I told you we had one solution. You rejected it. I told you I sought only one thing. Freedom. You have denied me this. You have exhausted our alliance, and in so doing, you have ruined us all. I did everything I could to avoid this, but it seems you have whittled my options down to a single one. In order to survive, I must now join the Netherbrain. It seems the aspiring heroes of Baldur's Gate have backed themselves into a rather uncomfortable corner. Listen. Tune your minds beyond the frequency of the prism's psychic collapse, and you can hear the sonorous metronomic tick before the final talk. The world's clock is winding down. The grand finale has arrived, my friends, and thanks to you, I have a ringside seat. Hmm, perhaps. But I assure you, enjoying the spectacle will be quite beyond you. In mere moments, all that you have dreaded will come to pass. The city will burn, your world will die. But you will persist, a grey shadow. Without beauty, without heart, without self. Dwelling in the ashes of dead worlds, or in the space between stars, you will wander, endless. One among billions. A survivor, a remnant, an illithid. Not this time. He's telling the truth. You've never been more sure of anything. Save yourself. I provide the Orphic Hammer with which you can free Prince Orpheus. And when the brain is defeated, you seize the crown and give it to me. Refuse, and I'll take your souls instead. You don't need to like it. You're doing the right thing.
free Orpheus and follow his lead. Then give that nether brain hell. I'll come to collect the crown when you've triumphed. Silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You took advantage of my powers. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. You may address me as your majesty. Do not Patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. That is false. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become Geek would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering, avoidable, were it not for the choices you made. Just as I was free, I will do it. I will become. Illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. The nether brain will be only too pleased to claim me. Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartav Keem crushed. the grand design is ended, kill me. It is the very least you can do. Come. It's time for us to meet our fates and end this illithid nightmare. <laughs> 